This is Jerry Degree. I thought I would show you some of the mark making that I do, which is really fun for me. It's like play. So the tool that I use the most is a pencil. This is just a regular graphite pencil and I'll just kind of close my eyes and make marks. And it's just fun. It's like play. The other thing I use is colored pencils. I've also started using these Distress Crayons made by Ranger. They're watercolor, so you can use them, but you will, um, if you put paint or water on them, they'll, they'll spread just like watercolor. But they have a nice, rich, lipsticky feel, and they really are quite nice to make marks with. I'll spray some water on it so you can see that. You can move this around if you want. Now that's handy because you keep the main mark, but you've got this now little aura of brown. Okay, I also use acrylic markers. This is a, a fine, it's called fine, but it doesn't seem fine. Anyway, it's an acrylic marker of some darn brand, I don't know. And it's darker, it's black. You can get these in all sorts of colors, but. So you can do that. You can also pretend you're drawing, you're writing. So I do this thing where I, I, I write what looks like letters, kind of, but it's not. But it makes a nice design on the paper. That's an acrylic marker. I also like these, I don't know how you say this, Caron Dosh, I think, Neocolor. These are also water soluble, but they're nice crayons that you can make good marks with. So here's one, looks just like a crayon, but they're rich and they have wonderful color and you can just make all sorts of marks. They also move some with water. Here, let's spray that. And quite a bit more than those distress crayons did. You kind of lose most of your mark, but it gives you again a nice aura of the color. I also really like to use Derwent ink tense pencils. They come in a lot of different colors. They're also water soluble, but they're a fine pencil. So we can make some marks all over with that. And let's see how much it spreads if we add some water. Sometimes I just spray it like that and then let it dry and it dries pretty well, but if you wipe it, you'll lose most of your mark. This isn't much of a problem, especially if you wet it. Generally, if you wet these and then let them dry, they'll, you'll keep most of the mark. And finally today, I'll show you these interesting Jane Davenport color sticks is what they're called. If I can get it so you can see it better. These are really kind of yummy because they're, they're like lipstick. You take them out and they look like lipstick. And when you mark with them, isn't that yummy? It actually looks like lipstick. Now these, after they dry, are permanent. And they come in that nice range of colors. So you've got a whole bunch of options. Sometimes when I'm doing an underpainting, I will write an entire letter on this it's gonna mostly be covered up and sometimes entirely covered up. Or a poem, or notes, or all sorts of things that I just feel like writing. It sometimes affects the direction of the piece. You know, I'll decide, oh, it's got a whole bunch of musical notes. Maybe it should have something to do with music. But usually it's just writing what I'm thinking about or playing and it makes a wonderful first layer for a painting. Thanks for tuning in.